All right. It is Sunday, May 25th, 2024. And we are in Morro Bay, California. It's probably, I don't know, maybe 60 degrees. up some wind so uh, I'm gonna try a different microphone and plug my external mic and keep filming with the built-in mic <clears throat> and this is the weekend where they have the art in the park event in Morro Bay so we're going to go uh, walk around here and take a look at the artwork that's for sale. And uh, while we're at it, we'll look at some other, uh, <clears throat> just look at the town a little bit and some of these businesses. This is the leather shop and quality leather work. Custom leather work, motorcycle gear, repair, and supplies. Kind of an interesting window. Let's take a look. Beautiful guitar. Beautiful gas tank cover for a motorcycle. It's pretty interesting. Hi. What do you do with that? I'm filming. Oh. Yeah, this is my. Uh, Telephone telephone has a camera built in. It's so funny, um, nearly every video that you film uh, has the potential of becoming a First Amendment audit because uh, frequently uh, when I'm filming in public, People will come up to me and ask me what I'm doing or tell me that I can't film. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> don't let anybody tell you that. If you're filming in public, working on a video, that's your business, nobody else's. And uh, with very few exceptions, you can film anything you want in public, as long as you're in public. And that's called the First Amendment, folks. So, anyway. Let's move along a little bit here. This is the Morro Bay Police Department. Flying Old Glory up there. Take a moment to acknowledge and recognize the United States flag. And uh, mosey along. Hi. San Luis Obispo Coastal Association of Realtors. Uh oh, we're getting some wind here. I hope this isn't going to be a problem in this video. Bamboo, bamboo, Chinese restaurant. Bamboo, bamboo. already tell there's going to be this wind interference isn't going to sound good on my ex on my built-in mic maybe we can get out of the wind a little bit over here Okay, here we are. This 
is Morro Bay Art Association's Art in the Park event. It's an annual event. And we'll just walk around and see what we can see. Good to see you. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Good to see you. Yeah, see you. So, this is my brother Jacob. Hi. Yeah. Nice to meet this is my you. Mom. Hi. Nice Pleasure to meet you. He actually spices and chili powders. Oh, yeah. Chimayo chili. Yeah, New Mexico chili on the internet. Yeah. Well, if you order it from the. I cannot for the life of me think of the place we order it from, but it's from Chimayo, New Mexico. Oh. And it's actual Chimayo chilies grown in the red clay dirt. With the old fashioned um, kind of irrigation. I know right where that comes from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My business partner lives about eight miles from Chimayo. Yeah. So uh, that's exactly where we get our Chimayo chili, but we also sell Hatch and other New Mexico yeah. chili. Yeah. Isn't this fun? Oh, yeah. I thought I'd come down and get some video for my YouTube channel. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. 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 The park is one of the most fun. I mean, only three weekends a year. It's fun. Oh, really? They do this three times a year? Yeah, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day weekend. They're the only three day, three weekends a year yeah, that they do art in the park. Schedule, yeah. Okay, see, and I thought it was annual. Nope, yeah, but it's only three weekends a year. Every wow. Year. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll run into you again, I'm sure. Some Morro Bay locals hanging around, doing art in the park. So I guess uh, we'll go in here. Howdy. We'll check out all of the vendors here, so as not to be unfair to anyone. And this guy we covered from the other side. And then there's this one. Please. Sorry, I don't turn off my camera. <laughs> okay, well, if you could not photograph hers, that would be wonderful. Yeah. Who's? Thank you. It's the artist. Yes. Which artist? Jesse, right here. Jesse is the artist, this lady right here? Yes. Yeah. That lady? No, this lady. But if you could please not photograph her, really Why not? That. Why? For because duplication. it's original artwork. Yes, thank you. You afraid someone's going to see they the know. video and copy it? They do. <laughs> Well, they can say that if they want, but that doesn't trump my First Amendment right to take photos wherever I want to in public. <laughs> it's too bad you don't believe in the First Amendment. Yeah, a better response would have been, you know, hey, what are you doing? Um, what are you going to do with that video? And then I tell you, I'm going to publish it on the Internet. And that would give the artist exposure. Mm -hmm. And then if you gave me the artist's name, well, we've had... that would be good for the artist. Well, but instead, you just gave the artist, well, not really, because I haven't talked to her. Don't know who she is. But if you're her spokesperson, you're not doing a very good job. <laughs> you're making her look bad. Yeah. 
So let's find out what is the name of this artist. It's Mickey Hart. Mickey Hart is the name of this artist. And she does, she has these little, these little, please don't take photos or videos without artist consent tag all over the place. This is pretty dumb. Never stop filming. Always keep the cameras rolling. Fiber art. Oh, that's a beautiful little thing. <laughs> the look on his face is classic. <laughs> Everything I'm missing right now is in the treasure seat that it comes with, and then just rub it back and forth. It's not going to hurt your fingers, so you can go as low as you like. Get it all in there. Take your brush that it comes with also, scoop it on down. You can add some butter to this, stick it in the microwave, leave it in there for a tasty bread dip, or just throw it over your pasta and use it there for it. I like adding some balsamic vinegar to my bread dip. There's no holes, so you're going to catch all those juices and oils in here. Yeah, thank you. Our website's on the back if you need some videos. It shows you the top 25 ingredients plus videos, but the direction sheet tells you everything you need to know that it comes with also. Thank you. Yes, yeah. perfect. Direction sheets are inside of each bubble wrap. Please remember when you give for a gift to remind them on the website. Okay. Oh, ceramic graders. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're so there, Tad. RobertMarble.com. RobertMarble.com. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some of Robert Marble's work. Whimsical and fun. Skincare. 
Tattoo's Tallow. Luxury skincare. really big. I'd say uh, three, three and a half feet. made by Megan. <laughs> Kenneth L. Smith, that must be the artist there. It's really uh, it's, it's mm, another painter. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know that. Yeah. 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 Ye
The Water and Ink Studio. Dude, there's somebody over here selling knives. We're so grateful. Mm -hmm. We're so grateful. Two inches of snow on the drive. But, I mean, there's plenty of pictures. Dogs outside. Frog. Gotta love frogs. Medicine design. Uh, so it's among uh, fairly old? Yeah, yeah. So, so hang on. Like the nugget, the nugget, and I think it's just a row. Alright, and lunch. That's a Native turnings woodworking. <laughs> Robin Burgess Metal Art. Robin Burgess Metal Art. Leslie Hamilton art. So we had a running joke. We anybody saw one? We had this group thing on WhatsApp, whatever. And so we find one and go take a picture and post it and say, I found one! <laughs> this went off your tree. Or Eric here when you left us Watercolor workshops for adults and kids. <laughs> A lot of painters here. Always fun. Kind of love tie dye. Being an old hippie myself, I'm a lover of tie dye. I don't wear tie dye much because I don't want people to identify me that way. But I'm a psychedelic LSD hippie kid at heart. <laughs> Any kind of you know, fun little tapestries for kids and stuff. Don't see a name there. Ooh, Coast Live Oak Handmade Soap and Pottery. CoastLiveOakCreations.com Denim and lace. Oh, that's cool. Some cool creations, eh? Sure.
And there's Julie Dunn finally. We've done fine art. Julie Dunn has a gallery in Paso Robles. And um, it's a beautiful little gallery. And she handles the um, some of my father's work. Uh, So if you're ever in Paso Rebels, go in and see Julie Dunn. Tell her Dave sent you and uh, ask her if he's got any fine paintings for sale. This is kind of super realistic painting or it's a photograph printed on canvas. Nicely done. Here is the Roan Prins studio. Roan Prins. I was here filming yesterday while these artists were getting set up. And then you can see that in another video. I'll put a link for it at the end of this video. Inspirations from the oceans of the central coast. Photography. Next over. Some pretty bright photos. Nice view of Moro Rock there. This thing is huge. It's like seven feet across by four feet high or something. Six and a half, seven feet. It's giant. Yeah, it's Pirate's Cove. Some more stained glass and glass work here. <laughs> Handmade wooden creations, beautifully joined together. That is joinery. Can't even feel. Can't even feel the same.
California coastal sea glass. Hey, how you doing? Good. You must be the artist of these paintings here. I don't know if this will work on video, but there's my QR too. Oh, I'll bet it will. Here, I'll just get a good shot of it. There you go, folks. All you got to do is scan that and you can go right to his website. So cool. Yeah. What's your name? Terry. Terry. Good to meet you. Yeah, I like your stuff. Thank you. Very cool. I really like this one a lot. That's an oil pastel on paper. That is awesome. Everything's so, original in here, so no prints. That is really beautiful. Very original. It has a nice glow to it, too. Right? I, yeah. The colors, are very intense. the colors are bright, and it's just, yeah, it's fun. Fun and beautiful. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Terry. Appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, what was the last name? Stoles. Terry Stoles? S-T-O-L-Z. Oh, Stoles. S-T-O-L-Z. What are you filming for? In my YouTube channel. Yeah, I thought so, because you're like, okay, folks. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's like... I got an interview coming up I'm kind of excited about. I, I completed a cup for The Bold Journey. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. They do a no. podcast and a magazine. Oh, okay. It's called The Bold Journey. The Bold it's Journey? It's going to be live in a few days. Yeah. And you're going to be on that? Well, I, I, it's a written, you know, written interview, but they're posting it live. And it oh, comes, cool. I just found out this morning, so, yeah. That's, <laughs> oh, so they'll read your answers to well, the questions? Already, so, you know, it's been going for a while. I was interviewed, and so now they're just finalizing it. I'm like, okay. I always like stuff like that. Okay, that's good. I'll check it out. I'll go look for that. Whole journey. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Terry Stoles, folks. There you go. You can find something really cool for your living room here. Go to his website. Check it out. Here's Nancy Lynn. Sweet, pretty nice kind of impressionist type work. Robert Fleming right next to her. And they look like they might be sharing the space here, working together. Nancy Lynn and Robert Fleming. Yeah, no, I, I, I do. Yeah, so some potted stuff. Ceramics. Mugs. Okay, and then all we've got left is this one right here. We get to go down the middle. I love this kind of lavender color, this purple lavender color of this pottery over here. Some sort of African themed artwork here. Looks like the artist is speaking. Switzerland and say, oh my gosh, I've seen it before. That's what that's about. This one, a very important story here because it means that for every piece of strength children are given by their parents or grandparents, 
when they let go, very interesting yeah. things start to happen. Really Everybody the has to pick their own drums in life. That's what this bridge is about. The drums are many, but only two match these three. And these three are slightly <laughs> colors, meaning that we should never settle for substitutes in life. Yeah. These are fancy, but not functional. So in life, when you pound your drums, it means you pick it out your purpose. Don't be swayed by other things being true to you yeah. to so play your song. And a lot of mothers, after we made this story, said, wait a minute, in this entire book, I don't see anything showing the child coming home. And that's this one. This shows that every child that leaves the nest can come back to the heart, and that's dad giving advice here. I got water. Good. So there will be a quiz, I told you. <laughs> when I next see you. Beautiful. Beautiful art. Really nice. Good. And that's uh Oh here there's his you can scan you can scan his uh code QR code there and go right to his website. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. you can have that. Welcome guys, how are you? Good to see you again, you go. some of you. And that's Uganda. Everything and nothing. Tommy Lane Jewelry. Some more photography in here. I'm kind of glad that it didn't take them all there. And they do canvas printing, so you can like, take your photographs and put them on canvas or make it into a jigsaw puzzle. Or Creative images by Marge. I'm going to leave her out. Some beautiful stained glass work here. Do it all yourself, huh? Very cool. What a dying art. It is, yeah. Yeah, very beautiful. Oh, it's like an octopus. Hi. Fanimals. Animal series. Huh. Cool. <laughs> you must be the artist who creates these? Yeah. Nice. And the animals are all either a pun or a rhyme, like the lab rat in the lab coat or the saddle shoes on the horse. So people love figuring out the title. And then on the back of the small prints, there's a little poem about each one. Oh, very nice. Animals wearing an oven mitt. It's bubbling, boiling. Wow, it's hot. I use a mitt to move the pot. It keeps my paw from getting burned. I didn't once. That's how I learned. Oh, Daddy, Luke's the space cutter. Oh, that's so beautiful. And very clever. Very clever. I, I love that. So you're an artist and a poet. Well, my partner does the poems. I make the paintings. So oh, cool. Very cool. And then the canvases also come with the poems as well. Nice. Love the colors. Really great colors. Out in a space helmet. I like that. Is it? Oh, okay. 
This is Fratis. Somehow I missed that guy. Pretty cool looking stuff though, very trippy and psychedelic. So kitties, wow. Are you guys Swiss? No. German? There's a lot to see there. Really like your stuff a lot. Right out of good old noggin. Yeah, I just really uh, very unique, and I love the psychedelic feel. And I can see it's like technically really hard to do too. I bet. Right on. Yeah, it must be very difficult to pull that off. Clay is a very finicky medium. Yeah. Yeah, these are just awesome. This will be on my YouTube channel, so you'll be able to find it if you want to. It's going to uh, just search for the event, you know, and I'll tag it appropriately. Uh, you got a website up or anything? Uh, I just have a, it's like, uh, here's my. Got a card? Oops. Yeah, here, let me scan it. From Malaya, from Maruski. Funnyartist.com. I'll scan it for my viewers here. Nice. There you go, folks. Do you cover all kinds of different events? Um, No, I just, it's just a personal little, you know, it's kind of more of a hobby than anything else. Uh, I just, it's, I have like actually three or four YouTube channels. Um, but, uh... So on various subjects, depending on what it's about, this is just kind of feel good, happy walking around video, you know, yeah. Walking around Morro Bay, art, arts in the park, you know. Exactly. So thanks for sharing, brother. Nice work. I know you're going to sell a lot of that. <laughs> thanks, man. I think that was my favorite artist in the whole place. He's... He and the, uh, that was really good. I, mean, I like weird, unique stuff. The stuff that's really different, you know? I mean, these are beautiful paintings right here, but so generic compared to what we were just looking at. And that is going to conclude our Art in the Park tour. in Morro Bay, California. 
I want to thank you all for hanging in with me here till the end of the video. Uh, I want to do some shout outs. Uh, uh, one to Stephanie West. She's been doing some really interesting videos where she talks about uh, music uh, records and albums and stuff. And uh, so if you're into music, uh, especially kind of retro music, go uh, look her up, Stephanie West. And uh, another shout out uh, to Amagansett Press. Uh, you know, I really uh, I watch a lot of your guys' videos, and I really appreciate you guys doing what you do out there, uh, protecting everybody's right to film in public. And uh, so, shout out to Amagansett Press. Uh, keep it up, guys. Keep up the good work. And thank you. Um, Another one along those lines is uh, Bay Area Transparency. Mr. Bay Area Transparency, thank you so much for your service. Um, you know, so many people who are paid to be public servants aren't. And there you are out serving the public for free. You know? Hey, Erin, how you doing? I've had better days. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Good to see you. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Bay Area Transparency. If you haven't looked at his channel and you care about your First Amendment rights, go, go look up Bay Area Transparency and check him out. Until the next video, uh, this is Davini, signing off. <laughs>